content. It was fucking she ended visible. slavery in Slavers Bay. It doesn't Bay. matter. Who else has done that in millions of years? She forced them to end it. She she decided to break the wheel to completely reshape the world she without united, understanding how the world works. She united every Kalasar in the Dothraki Sea yeah, by for killing the first all time the leaders. Since Karl Mogo. By killing all the leaders. How else is supposed to unite an entire Kalasar? She Kalasa? brought an army of raiders and rapists to Westeros. She brought dragons to West. I'm, look, I know she the brought army of rapists. three fire breathing monsters to assert her childish claims on the throne. Oh, childish claims. She didn't Who know how the world works. Who was even going to claim the throne after him? Everyone was dead. Sir, no one even liked Cersei. She blew up the set the Baelor. Because she was because mad. Cersei it wasn't was her fault. She went crazy. It was an accident. She just Bro, happened to go. Am I, am it I was dressed? just bad writing. Sorry, we okay, know I'm it sorry. was bad writing. Am I dressed as Cersei by any chance? No, oh, you're dressed as Tywin. Exactly, as Tywin. Because Tywin is not a vicious bastard. Yeah. He only he's only vicious when he needs he, to be vicious. He, I'm sorry. If you he's look, not vicious what? for his own pleasure. So like the sacking Ramsey, of King's Landing. The sacking of King's Landing. That wasn't vicious. He did it because it he was killed, necessary. He killed the Targaryen baby. It was necessary. He it a child necessary. that wasn't even a year old. It was necessary. He, he stabbed a five-year-old girl to death. He fucked uh, uh, who's it? Tyrion's hooker girlfriend just to spite Tyrion. I'm trying to say he's not nasty. What are you guys, talking about? Tyrion, Tyrion, was, in Tyrion was a monster. Tyrion, Tyrion didn't know anything. Man. Wait, wait. Tyrion didn't know anything yeah. of what was going on. Yeah. Tywin was fucking a whore. Yeah. That's what she was, a yeah. whore. Yeah, a whore. And she is the most annoying character in the show. Because she keeps telling everybody, she keeps getting pissed when people call her a whore, and then she keeps acting like a complete whore. Oh, she, that's because she never actually met a man who actually treated her with respect. Oh, come Until on. Lord Tyrion, who was tips very Fedora. friendly. Tip, 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 tip. Fuck you, Fedora. Yeah, yeah, Tyrion was, a, Tyrion was friendly to Shay. He treated her nicely, he didn't oh abuse her. Tyrion was he a made idiot. sure no other man would Shay abuse was a her. bitch. Shay would have always betrayed Shay, him. Shay was cool. Because Shay was cool she until was he cool. basically told her to fuck off. She betrayed him. She betrayed she him because stupid. he said, you're a whore, how could I marry your whore? Exactly. Imagine being so exactly. insecure and then some other dude who said he loved you and cared Are about you, stupid? all of a sudden goes like, oh no, I can't marry you because you're a whore. That's fucked up. Of course she's gonna betray you. Know you know he said that to her just to get her away from him, don't you? Because he wanted to protect her. Of course, and she took it the wrong way. But still, because she's it wasn't stupid. her fault. Oh come on, we all know women who have done shit is. like this. Oh, now we're going to women. Okay, no, no, okay, all right, all right. Let's talk more about game. Why Tywin Lannister? Bro, we got intelligent, actually intelligent women in Game of Thrones. So. No, you don't. No, look, there are two types of women in Game of Thrones, right? There are unattractive strong women who are great characters and attractive women who are smart, but they just use their looks to manipulate men. Like, I love get, uh, George R. R. Martin, but it's a serious problem and it's really sexist. He did the same thing in Meat House Man. It's another George R. R. Martin book. I, I know books and show, but uh, they're actually pretty similar. But uh, the only good, like the older women, um, Queen of Thorns, she's good. Um, yeah, she's very intelligent. And Joanna. when she was young, yeah. she was really hot. From Gen what we oh, know yeah, of the yeah, story. Gen yeah, Jennifer. So, yeah. what, what about that? She's both, then. What? Um, something tells me when she was hot, she probably wasn't that clever. But I mean, sure. But let's talk more about Tyne. Why Look, I don't I, like Tyne. I really, I like... really don't like uh, uh, what's her name. Um, the other Tyrell woman, the, the hot one. The... Really? Oh, I liked her. I uh, what's her name? Yeah, she tamed Joffrey. What's her name? Um, Oh my goodness! Somebody Marjorie. 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 Tyrell, I don't yeah. like her. I like she her, acts. Yeah. Look, the problem with her is that she keeps acting really friendly yeah. when it's obvious that she doesn't really like the people she acts friendly towards. Like I understand. She, it, she tamed Joffrey but though. She did. She did tame Joffrey. She so did. Joffrey was crazy, shooting people with his crossbow. She yeah, came in and she was she like, "Because she seduced you Joffrey. You could be a great king." And then she had an even easier job with uh, the other guy. Did she seduced Joffrey. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Tywin was taming Joffrey pretty well. Did you see the speech? Tywin didn't tame yeah, Joffrey. Yes, yes, he did. When Tywin, Tywin was there, said, when, the Ty when, Ty when Tywin was there, Joffrey was speaking very low. Yeah. He was laying low when Tywin was there. He never disobeyed Tywin. Joffrey straight up went, you didn't win shit. You hid in Castle Rock whilst my dad actually won the throne. Yeah, and then Tywin so, said, the king is ass. tired, send him to bed. And he, he went to bed. Yeah, he even says like, I am not tired. Yeah, but so he, he still went tame, to bed. He? he still went to like, bed. Oh yeah, after a bit of milk and a poppy, yeah. Of course you're going to go. Uh, he still essence, went to bed, bro. of nightshade. Dude, come on, gave come on. You can't be serious. You, have you seen the scene of Tywin speaking to Joffrey? When Joffrey's sitting on the Iron Throne and Tywin just walks in and Tywin is the one acting like the king and Joffrey's acting like a little little boy. He is a little boy, but... Because he is, of course. He No, but he's a vicious little boy. Yeah. And he wasn't well, acting vicious to Tywin. I guess from his Tywin. grandfather. 
It's because Tywin yeah, knows how to deal with people. his grandfather's viciousness, but not his brains. Man, Tywin is the best character in Game of Thrones, period. The best character He's in... the only one who could have brought, the... brought something better for the Seven Kingdoms. The only one. Oh, There's absolutely no question about it. King Renly with the Tyrells, they <laughs> would have... hello. Gotta King Renly hello. would have fixed the problems. The Lannisters were already hundreds of thousands of uh, gold dragons in debt. So what, they're just going to have a debt crisis with an old... Tons of money to the Iron Banks and even to the actual Tyrells. So, yeah, no, they had money problems. Tywin Lannister, how long did he even have, have to live? And what happened when he died? Chaos. Chaos ensued. Yeah, exactly. Everyone went, ah, oh, fuck it, I'm not even going to bend the knee to You're these only guys. proving my point more. It was all because of Tywin. Well, you know, if Tywin, Tywin actually, was if, holding if Tywin, if Tywin would have made sure that Tyrion was a good boy and gave him the love that he deserved, oh. for being intelligent, because Tyrion was intelligent, he was smart, and he saved the something, and he saved King's Landing. And Tywin wouldn't even give him respect for that. He even lost his. Tyrion was, the an uh, was an insecure. Was an insecure. That's because his dad never gave him the love that he no. deserved. Yes, it was. Bro, how is Tywin supposed to give Tyrion the love that he deserves if, first of all, his wife was raped by the Mad King, then Tyrion was born, which means that's, that's a theory. That's no, a theory. No, no, that's uh, not 100 uh, 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 even sure. Right? It's, of course, it's not sure, but it's possible. So it's, it's never been confirmed that he's even not now. even his kid. It's it's fan fiction. Might, it's what people wanted to happen. Fiction. Yeah, he it's made several fiction. jokes about. He had a thing for um, was it jo Joanna Lannister? But the, the, there's no real evidence that says that. Who the had Mad a King, thing for Joanna and, Lannister? Um, Mad King. He raped Joanna Lannister. Everybody knows no, that. No, no, there's it's, no evidence. There's it's a, canon. There's, there's a theory it's canon, saying bro. that he had a thing with her before Lord Tywin, but there's no real evidence that he actually raped her. He raped her. He raped her. And he made, thing, he made listen, comments about a boot and he made comments about... No, if he, Ty, come on, man. You know, you know I this I do know stuff. about okay, this, listen, but it's listen. a theory. Wait, listen, it's not a theory. The fact People that he raped... People make the theory wait, that Jamie wait, Lannister wait, and Cersei wait, were sons wait, of Ty, like uh, Ares. Wait, that's a theory. Yeah, that's no, a wait. theory. It's not a theory that the Mad King raped John Lannister. It is a theory that Tyrion is the son of the Mad King. When did he rape her? Like, give me when he was getting buttered because Tywin was getting more powerful than him. Because he knew that Tywin was the one ruling the Seven Kingdoms. When the Mad King was like, burn them all, burn them all, burn them all. Yeah, he well, you know what I mean? He didn't really go crazy until Duskendale. So I don't, you know, I mean, basically, he was just a, he was just a bit of a dickhead. And no, then Duskendale happened. And then... Yeah, seriously, he did rape her. It's can. He raped her to spite time. Now, whether no, whether uh, whether Tyrion is his son Believe or not, me, no. that if is this, not canon. If this was canon, then it would be literally all over like the official Ice and Fire Wikipedia page. Bro, it's that, a theory. That, it was oh always a theory. It was like R plus L equals J. It was neither confirmed nor denied, but okay, it was always it was the strongest theory. Okay, whatever. There's no real whatever, evidence whatever, that he whatever, raped her. Whatever, 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 whatever. Anyway, Tywin thought that he raped her. Tywin thought that uh, uh, Darwin knew that because of the birth of Tyrion, his wife died. And his wife was the only person he actually loved. Now, imagine this from, the, from Tywin's perspective. A kid that, you're not, that you're not sure is your son is walking around, uh, a dwarf, and he's whoring all around your, ra like, like your, uh, your castle, Castlery Rock. Yeah. He's whoring. Every single whore he sees, port, he no. pays her he wasn't and allowed, he, he wasn't allowed to take the hookers into Castle Europe. That's Around why he built, Castle no, That's why he built the passageway through the to sewer sneak, system, yeah, right? To sneak but with Tywin the Tywin didn't know about that. Because he, he even knew he was whoring. Yeah, he knew he was he whoring, but he made times. sure he never brought it into the Castle Europe. Yeah, man, but, but he whored around Castle Now you're talking about this Castle theory, the only that's evidence that suggests that he could be the son of Aerys Targaryen was, yeah, Tyrion Lannister in the books had white hair and mismatched eyes. One was very dark, one was green. But overall, there's no real evidence because if there was, Tywin would have killed him like that. Tywin would have just threw him out into the sea. Even no, he said. wouldn't. He couldn't have done that because it was also possible that he was still his son and would would have given a bad name to his family for killing a dwarf son. People probably do it all the time. Man, he's a Lannister. Why did he bother saving Tyrion at all? Tywin said it himself. He's a Lannister. Tywin openly admitted trying to kill him on several bro, occasions. Bro, bro. Tywin said it to Jamie. He's yeah. a Lannister. Yeah. He might be the lowest of our kind, but he is still a Lannister. No, no, no. The longer he remains in custody, 
the less our name commands respect. It was the name he was defending, not Tyrion. Oh, That's what you said. Well, like, it was the of name course. of our house. He didn't give a damn about Tyrion. If Ex he loved them so much, he wouldn't have sent him off to the vanguard no. and he wouldn't have tried oh, no, to wait, frame wait, him wait. for Joffrey's death. No kidding. I know he cares about the family more about, than about Tyrion, but saying, it means he wouldn't just, saying, just just killed him. No, because you're trying to say that he actually cared about Tyrion. He no, didn't. I'm he not. wanted him dead. He no, tried I'm to kill him like he on wouldn't have two killed. official occasions. Okay, Tiger, you need to listen. Yeah. You need to listen to what I'm saying. I'm saying he wouldn't have killed Tyrion. Yeah. I'm not saying he cared about Tyrion. I'm not saying he loved Tyrion. I'm saying exactly the opposite. But he wouldn't have killed him yeah. and he wouldn't have allowed him to be captured and, and uh, kept in custody. Because it would be a bad name, a bad thing for the la name Lannister. Name, but you didn't give a shot at Tyrion. So what? He you're trying to, because he's a bad person. My point is, he didn't give a crap about his sons. He oh only cared a crap God. about the ones who were fucking each other. One was insanely arrogant and well ended up almost tearing the Seven Kingdoms apart. Which I'm sorry, if Tyrion was so smart, how did he not know about this and put a stop to this? Even their mum knew about it, and their mum, uh, Joanna Lannister, knew, about knew that they were. Well, why didn't he stop them? Because he couldn't. What could he do? Honestly, he, Imprison that was, that was them. A war, that was a war. That was a war waiting to happen. He should have stopped them. Tywin is not omnipotent. He's no, just a no, man. he's just careless. What do you mean careless? Oh, so smart, but he's still damn insane. What is he supposed careless, to do, man? Okay, okay, stop them okay, from fucking. Okay. That's what you, bro, when, you, when bro, your kids are fucking bro, each other, bro. you don't let them carry on fucking. Bro, you've do got you? to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding. You've me. got to be kidding. You're you've the one who's like, oh yeah, Tywin Lannister is so great, but he lets his kids yeah. fuck one another. Yeah, he should have done everything. He should have fixed everything. We, nobody can he's fix Tywin everything. He's Tywin Lannister. Everyone thinks he's amazing. Man, nobody thinks he's amazing because oh, you do because you're dressed up like him. Yeah, I do. I am dressed as as him because he's the best character and he's the only character that could have given a future for the Seven Kingdoms. Oh shit, he would have brought, he would have burned it again. Renly should have, have been, Renly should have been king. He had a Renly good strong, was a he, had the only, he was the only one with a decent Renly claim. Renly was a weakling. Renly did not know how to command. And no, Tarly, that's why he had no, wait, Randall and Tarly, Tarly to command the troops. Man. The only guy to defeat Robert Baratheon in Robert's Rebellion. Yeah, right, it was perfect. He didn't have money problems, everyone loved him. His wife Marjorie was okay, a Okay, really have nice we ever lady. heard about Hannibal Barker? Oh, do, yeah, yeah, I know about Hannibal. Good. Hannibal won every single battle he fought in Italy yeah. and he had to retreat. Why is that? He didn't get any supplies uh, from... That's the first thing. Yeah. Second thing, because he was the only one winning the battles. Everywhere else, where the Romans faced the Carthaginians, they won no contest. Yeah. Hannibal was the only one, the only general in the Carthaginian army who could win battles. What did Stannis Baratheon just because, say about Just battles? because you have one general who wins battles, doesn't mean you can win a war. Who had the largest army? Okay, yeah, the, he had the, the largest army. He had an experienced yeah. battle commander. He, he had the resources to actually supply his troops. There was nothing stopping him. Not only that, he had the northerners who definitely would have backed him because, yeah, he was a cool guy. Not only that, he was okay with Rob yeah, Stark. Yeah, he was a cool guy. No, yeah, you know, he was okay with Rob Stark. The northerners would have never the bent the knee to him. They would have sure as heck allied with him. They sure as heck would have paid taxes to him. They would have been fine with that. Uh, and because Renly was such a cool and open guy, he would have been cool with that. Yeah, he was a cool open guy. He was a cool open guy. He didn't Bro, go around trying cool to kill guys, his kids, did he? He didn't good, let his two kids fuck Good each guys other. don't make good rulers. That's why Trudeau is a bad ruler. Gaius Octavian. Good guy, cool guy. Cool Great guy. ruler. Sure, sure, go ahead. Look, let me tell you something. I, I, have, an, I have an example yeah. from Game of Thrones that will prove that uh, just because you know Randley had uh, the Tali guy yeah. and he was uh, admittedly a very good general doesn't mean he would win the war and that example is Rob Rob won every battle against the Lannisters he outmaneuvered them every single time and yet he died Rob why wanted justice because Tywin for his because Tywin knew how to use things beyond the battlefield he knew Rob was more was better a better commander than him he knew his troops were following him fanatically yeah, yeah. and he and outmaneuvered more, more Rob yeah, I know the Northerners hard, yeah. were a lot more battle hardened yeah, yeah, than yeah, like yeah, those. Because yeah, yeah. they were actually like, like roasted for being yeah. summer nights. Yeah. And he decided yeah. to make the Boltons betray him. Yeah. And also the phrase betray it was, him. Yeah, it, was, it was over once they lost Winterfell. Because I think they still would have had a chance. Because they, they lost Winterfell to the... Oh, they had no chance. Uh, yeah. The Boltons were right near Winterfell. If it weren't the Greyjoys capturing it, the Boltons would have captured oh, like, it. The thing is, because they... The Westerlords, they weren't exactly going to invade the North, were they? You can't invade the North. Yeah, you can. How? What, through Moat Kaelin? The Targaryens invaded the North. Oh, no, no. They simply convinced... Because they, they are dragons. The Westerlords yeah. do not have dragons. They Bro, just have so, gold and a okay, lot of men. Look, <laughs> look, 
not everybody does the same mistake as Napoleon and Hitler, yeah. which is invading a cold, cold country without actually getting prepared. You yeah. can invade the no, north. No, you really can't. You can invade it by... Even the um, Andals tried to invade the north. Not only did they get beaten back, but... Uh, what was his name? Um, Theon, uh, Theon Stark, uh, was like hundreds of years ago, he sailed over to make an example of them and killed tons of Andal lords and put their heads on spikes across the coast of the north. Do you know how big the coast of the north be? You cannot invade the north. Even Cersei Lannister knew this. He said the north is too wild and too big for anyone to take. Uh, Eddard Stark also said that he won't, like, um, let's say a thief did become me and Rob. Like, um, Robert Baratheon won't invade the North unless the entire realm was behind him. No. And even then, it would have been incredibly difficult. It's like, not that no, difficult. Because you, you know what? Because um, not only that, there's the Cranog men in the uh, forest. So they basically go by, like, um, guerrilla tactics like Viet Cong. So they fire darts Come at you, on, man. and then, That's... yeah, you get killed. This is why the Andals could They're never take the They're a bunch of savages. They could have never posed a threat. Oh, mate. Like, Listen, okay. Sa they're, like, okay, really wait, 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 short Cranog men. Like, no one's really defeated them except for the, the Marsh King. Yeah, because nobody bothered to defeat them. Yeah, well, actually, I think the and King of the North in the to forest. Marry Nobody daughter. cared about them. Yeah, well, they, they had a forest, which was like the uh, actual entry into the north uh, by land. Anyway, you could use uh, ships, uh, but you know, you'd have exactly. To, That's yeah. one way to do it. What's this up? This is Sparta. Well, that's not Sparta now. I know. Game of Thrones. How's it going? Yeah. Game of Thrones. Yeah, that's it. He, not only got that, it. I think he also um, he wanted the uh, Mance. He tried to not send uh, any help to the Night's Watch because he wanted Mance Raider to flood the North with soldiers. Who? Like uh, Tywin. Tywin. Yeah. When did he say that? I think it was in season. No, probably season three. He, he says never if said they're not, that. if they yeah, he did. I mean, which is just genuinely kind of fucked up, trying to mess him with the Night's Watch. I mean, they're not even Why? aligned to anyone. Because he wanted uh, wildlings to flood the them. Wildlings all. were running away from the White Walkers. Oh, yeah. Because that was... Uh, so that's like There's another, still people, you another know? crazy plan he had. <laughs> like, I, you know, Tywin Lannister, he's just... Uh, he's smart, but he's just nasty and he's a bad guy. What do you mean a bad, bad guy? guy. You oh, know he never smiled. Bad guy, bad guy can't, uh, no, you can't know, be a ruler. No, you know he never smiled. He only smiled once when he married um, Joanna Lannister. Yeah, like his not wife. once, no. It says on the law that Three all times. his smiles belong to Joanna, yeah. to his wife. He only smiled that's why once he was on his so, wedding day. That's why he was so, um, um, you know, destroyed by her death. And her death happened because of Tyrion. Yeah. So obviously he's a bit butthurt because of Tyrion. And, Another thing, and Tyrion is not helping Has Tywin Lannister all. ever actually won a battle fairly? I mean, fairly. Of course, he has against the rains. He destroyed the rains. He encircled them, and then he used a, 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 a river to flood the thing, and then he drowned them all. He didn't actually properly take. Oh, fairly. It. What is fairly? Oh, yeah, fa well, okay, wait. Man to man so, on a so field. okay, wait. So wait. Rob attacked from behind. He used maneuvering tactics. He attacked That's from not, not he fair. attacked from behind yeah. when the Lannisters were least expecting, when they were besieging a settlement. Yeah. He attacked them from behind and he destroyed them without them being able to put up a fight. Is that fair? Was it fair that Rob Stark was outnumbered? No, is that, is he that had 8,000 men. Bro, uh, there is no fair yeah, in had warfare. Eight, no, he had 8,000 men. All warfare, Jamie Lannister had 12,000 men. All warfare is based on deception. Oh, there's, don't try and quote no such Sun thing. for me. I oh, was I there. am going to quote I was there when the ancient scripture Yeah, sure you were. Sure you were. The immortal tiger. Anyway, look, bro, there is no thing, no such thing as fair in warfare. Yeah, but there's definitely something to be proud of, and Tywin has nothing to be proud of in terms of the battlefield. Of he got he wounded, has. he got wounded in the Nine Penny Kings. He's not even a, like that much of an accomplished fighter. So? He's just a rich guy with no with, morals. He fights with his head, not with his sword. That's way more powerful than the sword. Bro, again, you admitted that after Tywin died, the kingdom fell into chaos. Because he didn't educate his kids good enough. Well, Come on, what the hell could he do? Like, one man can't do everything. He was ruling the kingdom. Yeah. He couldn't educate the kids and rule the kingdom and, you know, watch if his kids are doing something bad over there he could have, all the time. He could have given Tyrion the appreciation that he deserved. He could have made what sure What appreciation that did he deserve? He was whoring left and right. Uh, he was a, Tyrion was very intelligent. He was very recognized. Sure. His sister, in the books, his sister came over to him and he said, look, T uh, Tyrion is actually quite clever. Um, and Tyrion he didn't kill his father because he called a whore a whore. Oh, no, he killed his father because Tywin tried to frame him for Joffrey's murder. No, he didn't killed he? his father when Tywin called uh, Shay a whore. No, that was he just said, a, don't was, say, don't call also, her a whore. He also, also fucked his girlfriend. It was the last straw. Oh I mean, I'm sorry, so if a guy what? tries... If, so if you're, if, if she a guy betrayed who, him. If a guy who's supposed she to love betrayed you, betrays you t or tries to kill you twice and then fucks your girlfriend, what, you're just going to allow him just to talk about your girlfriend like that? That's not okay. Man, Tyrion is... Uh, that's why I'm telling you. Tyrion mm. is a butthurt weakling. He got betrayed by a whore. Then that well, same. He won the Battle of Blackwater. So he, I mean. he got betrayed by the whore twice. 
He won the battle of he, he Black burnt, Water. He burnt, he burnt half He of, stalled he, for time until Tywin arrived with the army and what attacked are you talking the... About? Both the Tywin Ty won the, the war. Jaren, won the Jaren Tyrell, which, Jaren Tyrell, I, I also what burnt the um, wood so he couldn't uh, supply from it. What's it, Jared? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, both yeah, books on the show, but yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. Anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> you can't miss him. You're gonna make complain about him. Why? He's taken too many holidays. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to be grateful he can get him. I can't. You mean you miss him when he's not here? He's uh, not a policeman, he's a policeman. From Man, say it straight. Man, don't listen to BBC. Man, don't listen to ITV. Listen! Yes, yes, yes. I don't even listen to this guy, right? I don't listen to CLE! I don't listen to BBC! I don't listen to ITV! I don't even listen to Skyman! I don't listen to CLE! I don't even listen to CLE!